Today I'm looking back to May 7th, 1920, to the opening of the first exhibit of the Group of Seven. Toronto-based artists, frustrated with the conservatism of Canadian art of the time, believing that a distinct Canadian art could be developed through direct contact with nature. Best known for its paintings inspired by Canadian landscape and initiated the first major Canadian national art movement. Continued to exhibit as the Group of Seven until 1933. So here's a trivia question. How many members did the Group of Seven have? If you said seven, you're wrong. They actually had 10 artists that were part of the group. Originally, it consisted of Frank Carmichael, Lauren Harris, A.Y. Jackson, Frank Johnson, Arthur Lismer, J.E.H. McDonald, and Frederick Varley. Later, they would add A.J. Casson and Edwin Holgate, and finally, in Lemoyne Fitzgerald. Two artists who are commonly associated with the Group of Seven are Tom Thompson and Emily Carr, but neither were ever official members. The group was succeeded by the Canadian Group of Painters in 1933.